Welcome to part one of the leopard tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create the foundations of an artwork. I always like to start with the hardest part of the artwork, which in this case for me, the eyes. Because it builds your confidence for the rest of the artwork. Sometimes in detailed parts of an artwork, you'll need to use a stencil. So what I have on me is my hand. The advantage of using your hand as a stencil is that it doesn't become as sharp as a laser cut stencil. Second thing we're going to do to this artwork is go around and create all of the major shapes. A good example of shapes in the reference is here on the nose or all of the leopard's black spots. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint all of those shapes without adding any detail. Pay close attention to what height you're doing your shapes at. These shapes here are done much closer than these shapes down here. That's what gives you focus and a sense of perspective in the artwork. All we're doing is getting a base down so that we have something to paint over with the white. The white colour is what we're going to use to add textures and create realism. Now I was just airbrushing here and I could feel that my hand was getting a little bit wet so I looked at my moisture trap <laughs> and there's the problem. Too much water in your moisture trap means that there's too much water in your compressor tank so you should empty it out. That right there, that's not water my friend. That's pure laziness. When you're in the first stage of your artwork, such as now, one of the hardest things is recognizing the softer shapes. The best example is this large shape here on the nose. Pay attention to what height you're doing this effect at and what intensity. And it's exactly the same for the rest of the shapes throughout the artwork. So I've taken a few steps back and I've looked at excuse me, how my reference is looking compared to my picture. It looks good. We've created all of the darker shapes. We've created all of the softer shapes. There's one last thing that I can do before I move on to adding textures. I'm going to take a step back very softly, dust one coat of this black colour over almost all of the artwork. So the leopard's looking really good and it's starting to take shape, but we haven't even started to create detail yet. So if you want to see how to really make this artwork pop and add true realism to it with airbrush textures, then click on the link for the next tutorial. Spread the love. Stare at me while I crave you